All right, we've got long division here with remainders. Sometimes there's a leftover amount, and I'll show you what we do with that. We have 278 divided by 5. If we take a look at this, we're going to put 5 into 2. Well, I've got a hard example for you on purpose so that we can show what to do. 5 does not fit into 2 by itself, so we have to go on to the next part as well. 5 going into 27. But before I could do that, I need to mark that 5 did not fit into 2. So some people like an X, I like a 0, something to show that we are in the next spot over. So 5 going into 27. Let's take a look at that then. 5 goes into 27 how many times? Well, I know that 5 times 5 is 25, and another 5 won't fit. That would be 30, which is too much. So we subtract. 7 take away 5 is 2. 2 take away 2 is 0. Nothing left over. Except for this 2 right here. 8 comes down next. 28. 5 going into 28. Well, that's almost the same as 5 going into 27. And so we're going to have 5 times 5 yet again. 5 times 5 is 25. And we subtract that. 8 minus 5 is 3. 2 take away 2 is nothing. So I've got a leftover here. I've got 55 and a leftover. And we call that a remainder. We mark it with an R. 55 remainder 3. It did not divide in equally, which with my divisibility rules of 5, I could tell because it didn't end in 0 or 5. Let's do a second one. 9 going into 715. 715 divided by 9 is how we would say that. 9 does not fit into 7, so what do we do? We look at 9 into 71. We take the next place value over as well. So 9 into 71, it's so close to 72. I know that 9 times 8 is 72. It doesn't fit. So it's probably going to be one less than that. Let's try 9 times 7 since 9 times 8 did not fit. 9 times 7 is 63. If my answer down here is too big, I'll know it didn't work and we could try something different. 1 minus 3. Well, got to do some borrowing. It's going to be a 6 there, and this becomes 11. 11 take away 3 is 8. 6 take away 6, nothing left over there. It's just the 8. Bring down the 5. 9 going into 85. How many times? Well, I know that 9 can go into 81, become an 81. 9 times 9 is 81. Now let's subtract it. This is a 5 minus 1, 4. 8 minus 8 is 0. We could mark it, but we don't have to. So I've got a leftover here. This 4 does not work, and there's nothing left to bring down. So 4 is my remainder, and I can mark it with R4. In later grades, later lessons, you will use this remainder in a different way to show it as a fraction answer. But for now, the remainder is enough. So we have 79, remainder 4, as our quotient.